Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little something different planned. Um, I, I think I gave a backstory on this already, but just to repeat myself for my sanity's sake, I purchased a mirror for like 15 bucks at Goodwill last year. And I loved it so much because the frame was just amazing, super intricate. It was like um, an antique looking black theme and I just loved it. So I bought it and I hung it up and then I kept taking it down. And then, so it was hanging horizontal and I, ch I was trying to change the little screws on the back to hang it vertical. And in the process, I broke the actual mirror. So I kept the frame, hoping that I would be able to create something out of it because I love the frame so much. And I finally got around to doing something with it. So I'm gonna do like a voiceover kind of deal because there's a lot of ruckus in the background because the girls and mob life, but Without further ado, let's get into this really cool DIY that you can do with any frame pretty much. And yeah, let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do like a short intro because I don't quite know what this video is gonna be. Um, I do know how it's gonna tie into everything. So, I have this balcony situation and I'm gonna insert a clip somewhere after this. Um, and I want to kind of make it like um oasis looking vibe because it's like right outside my bedroom. So this is my bed and this is the view. We have like a nice view of the pool and it's really green outside and beautiful and I just want to bring like the beauty onto our balcony if I if that's how you say it. Um, so I kind of want to make it like boho, tropically, lots of plants. The plants part I know is going to take a while because I don't want to buy them all at one time. I kind of want to ease my way into it because I'm just now getting to the point where I'm not killing plants and I'm so proud of myself but I don't want to push it um but I think I'm gonna go to Joann's or Michael's today because I have something that I want to DIY into something <laughs> Okay guys, so we're just gonna get right into this. I started first by removing the mirror. I did this outside actually and I didn't record it because it was a hot mess and just frustrating. Um, but I took out the mirror first and then here I'm removing, I think it's like wax to protect the walls when you hang a picture or something. Um, but I'm just taking off the wax and then I'm taking off the residual adhesive from having the mirror in the actual frame.
To all those new viewers out there, hi, welcome, my name is Martina. I am a stay-at-home mom of two little girls and I spend my days chasing after them, cleaning up after them, and also trying to grow my DIY home repair skills slowly but steadily. So. If you are interested in cleaning videos, DIY videos, home styling and renovating, please subscribe to my channel because I release a new video every week and I would love to have you guys join the journey of just making this house a home and also give this video a thumbs up if you are liking what you see so far. This is the first time I've changed a frame into this type of project and I don't want it to be the last time so give it a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below what your favorite part is. Okay guys, so I finally got all the wax stuff. I mean, there's still little residue, but I'm not too worried because it is going to be hung up and this isn't going to be showing. I just wanted to get the largest part off. Look at this pile. That's disgusting. Um, I think they use like some sort of silicone adhesive to keep the mirror in, but since we're not using the mirror, I take it out. Um, so on to stage two. So here I'm just quickly cleaning off the frame because it was a little dirty since it's been sitting in the garage for a little less than a year. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give it a little fresh restart before I went in with this burlap. So this is actually a burlap table runner that I got at Joann's and it actually served my purpose really well. I could not find large sheets of burlap. I was only at Joann's so I wasn't expecting there to be like a huge selection and the one I went to was really small. So I used what I could find and it actually turned out really well. And after I stapled all that down, I just reused the backing that they used for the mirror. It's just cardboard. I probably should have gotten more, but I figured I had this piece and I wanted to recycle it. So I just stapled that right behind just to give a base for sticking the flowers on. So after I did that part, I 
actually started putting my florals on. I got like hanging eucalyptus, tropically looking plants. I recorded all of this, but for some reason, actually, no, I know the reason. My darling daughter in the blue dress right there, Emma, decided that she wanted to push the red button on my phone when I was recording. So all that footage that I thought I was recording, I wasn't. But I mean, it wasn't too important. It's kind of like a self-explanatory thing. Stick the plants on in an arrangement you find pleasing, so on and so forth. So for the most part, I used my staple gun to attach my larger florals. And then I went in with some hot glue and I hot glued over the staples with some moss. And then I was liking the way the moss looked. So I just put moss on the whole thing. Like all the burlap you see, I ended up covering with moss. And I actually really loved it. I'm obsessed with the moss look. I don't know what it is. It looks really like organic and beautiful. So I went crazy. Let me know guys if your kid does this with anything that you do. Emma loves hanging on me. I feel like she's like my little koala joey and she just hangs on me. I don't know what it is. She hangs on me, drools on me, jumps on me and bounces. And It's just hilarious to watch the playback of this video because I don't think I realize how much she does it until I see these kinds of things. So I may be completely wrong in this step, but I just put hairspray all over the moss part because I thought it would help keep the shape and to keep like the straggling pieces that I didn't get glued down together. So far it's working, so maybe I chose the right thing. So once again, here's the before, and here is the after, guys. It turned out so amazing, and I'm so happy and proud. It looks exactly the way I imagined, and I'm eventually going to be hanging this on the wall. But for now, it's okay on this stand. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!